Hi everyone, this is Mike, and uh, you might have seen that After Effects CC 2018 has just been released, and alongside that I am releasing Joysticks and Sliders version 1.6. Now, one of the biggest uh, revisions to After Effects is the ability for uh, shapes and paths to be controlled with expressions, and now Joysticks and Sliders is going to tap into that. All you have to do is download the new version. If you're not running uh, 2018, you can still download it and upgrade, and it will behave the same way as you're used to. Um, however, if it's run in 2018, the expressions will behave a little differently for you, and I'll show you how that works. Here's this blue head guy that I've shown in some of my tutorials. Now, if you have a rig that was built with a previous version of joysticks and sliders, all you have to do is take its, its rig, unbind it, and then select everything and bind it back together. And now you have the new expressions that work in both previous versions and new versions of After Effects. What's so special about the new version is you'll notice the nose and the head base. The path does not have big keyframes, just a much larger expression. And it updates in real time. You don't even have to go near this button. And you can even move your joystick around and everything updates in real time. One thing I will point out is uh, the key keyframe baking did support variable feathering on masks, and that is not yet supported in the expression. So if you do need animated variable feathering, what you can do, you can still um, update your path shapes and bake everything in keyframes. If your path has a keyframe on it, it will honor those keyframes. So if I remove all those uh, frames, as you see, it follows along. If I add like one keyframe, it'll be frozen in that position. So don't add keyframes to your paths if, they're, if they've got an expression on them. Um, let me, you know, that probably added keyframes to all the other paths that could very well be controlled by expressions. So let me just remove those from the nose. I think it's just the nose and the head base right now, really. Um, so yeah, there you go. Also, if you have a rig that you want to save down to a previous version of After Effects, that's uh, another reason you might want to bake your path shapes. And uh, additionally, it could turn out that you're, uh, you've are you got a lot of path shapes and uh, the brand preview is taking too long for it to evaluate all those expressions, so it might be faster to uh, bake your keyframes for that. So it's still there for those purposes, but... Um, in the meantime, I do think this is the best way to go moving forward. I'm going to show you another little example of some arrow rig here. Now, this is something I've done in some of my demos here. This is a rigged path shape that's got a bunch of sliders that lets you independently control different vertices with what is essentially known as blend shapes. So if I go into my sliders panel or controller, there we go. And look at our keyframes. This is our basis. These are augmentations of that basis. And then bind it back to this thing. I can go into my sliders on the controller and in real time I can slide up stuff forward and backward, change it all around, back point, length so it's just much nicer to work with path shapes in creative cloud 2018 and joysticks and sliders so i really hope that you also you know moving keyframes around to change the timing of different elements is so satisfying instead of having to go back to that thing anyhow please download it start using it um very excited to be able to share this with you all right thanks bye